Hello, my name is Colin and I've designed the Pixel 3D 3D printer and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about it and the campaign. Now the Pixel 3D printer is a kit, okay, uh, an easy kit to put together um, but it just gives you astounding results. So let's go into why, why it does give you such good results. Well, at the very beginning, I had to make some decisions and uh, the very core decisions were what were gonna be the structure of this printer. Many other printers use steel rods with bearings and basically plastic frames or some metal frames. I wanted to go that extra level, so, as you can see, as I start to spin the printer, you'll see that the main structure of the frame is made out of three millimeter steel. Okay, that's the red mushroom. And the all the axes are linear rails. And you'll see as I slowly turn that round, you'll see a linear rail for the Z. You'll see a linear rail for the Y. Uh, you probably won't be able to see the linear rails, but there is two linear rails for the bed. And as I spin around, you'll see some of the features. So that was the main decision of using uh, linear rails and steel. The reason I wanted to use these is I knew that they would give you great quality as there's very little play. So that would allow the carriage to print really precisely. Now, this printer, uh, I had high hopes. Now, the results uh, from the prints oh, were just outstanding. Um, Every print I've printed has been 80 millimeters a second plus. You'll see from the pictures below. Um, most printers would, to get this quality, even if they could even achieve this quality, would make you drop that down to 40, maybe 60 millimeters a second. But I've had this printing at 100 millimeters a second without batting an eyelid. Uh, I'm sure you could push it further, but between 80 and 100, I'm just getting uh, phenomenal results. Now, it has a geared extruder. Uh, it's all 1.75 millimeter filament. It has a Bowden setup with a radial fan for the layer cooling. Uh, has power supply on the back. Proper NEMA two amp uh, motors. Uh, linear rails. Uh, heat bed as standard. LCD is standard. I feel myself that these should be standard on every printer so you're not bound by tethering at all. And it is fully upgradable as well in time to come. So yeah, so that's a little bit about it. I'm really excited about this. Uh, the reason I've come to Kickstarter is so I can get the funds in place to order bulk uh, from the suppliers which will allow me to get the kits out to people. Now, like I've said, I'm sort of blown away by the quality of this. Um, in time to come, I'll show you some stop motion prints uh, to, so you can make your own minds up on the quality. Um, so, so yeah, uh, I'm here. I hope you pledge and I'm really looking forward to this campaign. Thank you for listening.